the militia movement. Welcome to Tricky Mickey. Please support the channel by subscribing, share, and like. At the end of the video, please leave a comment at the bottom. Spread the word Tricky Mickey is here. Thank you. In this episode of Tricky Mickey, we're going to explore the militia movement. What is the militia movement? Is it good for the United States of America? Is it bad? Does it respect the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, American history and tradition? What is the militia movement? 1776, the spirit of the American resistance movement. You're now looking at a symbol of the American resistance movement, defenders of the Constitution. These people operate in all 50 states. These are people who believe in the Second Amendment, the right to own and bear arms. These are the ones who train for the eventual future when America will become a totalitarian country, as history unfortunately supports. A short history of the modern militia movement. Welcome to the modern militia movement. The modern militia movement came into existence after World War II. When patriotic Americans after World War II decided that the only way to defend America's freedom and liberty was to prepare for any eventuality. This is the, the birthright of Americans to go out hunting, own guns, know how to defend themselves, their families, and their local community. In other words, Americans doing things for themselves. Our government is out of control. Our government is out of control. We the people. Yes, the Constitution originally was created by the Founding Fathers in 1789 to put a limit on the federal government, to establish a rule of law and a partition of power, a check and balance, certain powers to the federal government, certain powers to the state, and the rest powers to the American people. We the American people have a duty and an obligation to maintain a check and balance on the government. The Founding Fathers. The Founding Fathers. 239 years ago, these men told the King of England to kiss their behind. It's about time that we rise up as in this country and tell these people in Washington, D.C. the same thing. Yes, we shouldn't be afraid to contradict our leaders that we elect in our democratic process. We own them. Our taxes pay their salary. They work for us. They must obey us. We do not obey them. Extremist patriots? Groups of the United States of America. Are these extremist patriotic groups? As you can see in this uh, diagram, they're in all 50 states. These individuals are preparing for a future where the American government will turn on its own people. History supports this viewpoint because sooner or later, government acquires too much power and that power is used to protect the political economic elite of this country. This is supported by history. The three percenters. What are the three percenters? During the American Revolution, the active forces in the field against the king's tyranny never amounted to more than 3% of the colonias. These three percenters today, for the most part, identify with the three percenters because they were true patriots fighting for the freedom the nation we love and honor was founded on. The three percenters intend to maintain their God-given rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. History itself, for good or ill, is made up of determined minorities. Never underestimate the government. Our Bill of Rights. Our Bill of Rights. Our Bill of Rights is not negotiable. Not one single part. Not ever. We will never back down. We will never surrender. The armed citizens of America. What this basically means is that you, the individual citizen, need to understand the true history of the United States. It was fought against tyranny, a government that wanted to impose its will upon the people. We, the inheritors of this freedom, must fight back. President Thomas Jefferson speaks. President Thomas Jefferson speaks. All tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for people of good conscience to remain silent. Thomas Jefferson. What he meant is that if you look the other way like an ostrich with his head in the sand, People who have political and economic power will increase their power until the point that you are left with no power, no future, no destiny for yourself and your descendant. 
defenders of liberties. Defenders of liberties. The defenders of liberties, no compromise, no surrender. This is one of their patches. They're basically saying, why should we as Americans compromise any of our freedom and liberties to a government that doesn't respect the Constitution? You want our guns? You want our guns? You want to take our what? You're a very special kind of stupid. Since President Obama came into office, he is one of the most anti-constitutional and anti-Second Amendment president of the United States of America. You can tell by the way he speaks, by the, the, the laws he has tried to pass, and also the executive orders he's written, that he wants to disarm America. Fight back. Fight back. Nazis and communists alike disarmed their subjects. Unarmed descenders ended up in mass graves. Armed resistance, resistors perish one by one. Take some with you. If they come for you, and you have a means to defend yourself and your families and your loved ones, you at least have a fighting chance to pre preserve America's freedoms and liberties and our heritage. You need to learn to defend yourself. We the people. We the people. We the people have unalienable rights given to us by our Creator, not by man. No politician can take them away. Not ever. We the American people must know our birthright. We must study our history. We must understand our Constitution, Bill of Rights, and Declaration of Independence. We must refuse to bow to our politicians. President George Washington speaks. President George Washington speaks. A free people ought not only be armed and disciplined, but they should have sufficient arms and ammunition to maintain a status of independence from any who might attempt to abuse them, which would include their own government. George Washington. Our founding father knew from first-hand experience that tyranny always comes from the government. We need to protect ourselves from any future tyranny. The citizens' militia, the citizens' militia, the citizen militia to preserve liberty is essential that the whole body of the people always possess arm and be taught alike, especially the young from a very young age, to know how to properly use arm and weapons to defend their freedom and liberties. This is what the citizen militia is all about. Do not respect the law. Do not respect the law. An unconstitutional law is no law at all. For example, once upon a time, we had in this country laws called segregation laws, laws that impeded people from voting. Were those laws constitutional? No. Good people like Dr. Reverend Martha Luther King and the Civil Rights Movement stood up for itself and fought against a segregated America and made for a better America. We need to fight for our freedom and liberties. No one else will. will. A nation under revolt. One nation under revolt. Don't tread on me. This symbol was on the flag of the American Revolution. Don't tread on me. Our founding fathers and the Americans who fought in the American Revolution, they gave, gave us all of our freedom and liberties, which unfortunately many Americans take for granted. We need to stand up and preserve this because it was handed to us as our birthright and no one can take it away from us. The Founding Fathers' Legacy The Founding Fathers' Legacy Obama says, Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warns of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that at the root of our problems, some of these voices also do their best to gum up the works. They warn that tyranny is always lurk lurking around the corner. You should re reject these voices. The Founding Fathers said, Experience has shown that even under the best form of government, those entrusted with power have in time and by slow operation perverted it into tyranny. Thomas Jefferson. Believe what Thomas Jefferson said, not in those who love government like President Obama. Since he came to office, he has by fiat believed only in his authority. 
If the Congress won't act, I will. That's the voice of the dictator. That's somebody who does not believe in the Constitution or separations of power. He doesn't believe in the power of the American people. He believes only in his power. A message to the world. A message to the world. Let it be known to the world, the United States government no longer represents the will of the American people. We, the American people, speak for ourselves. We stand together as a united American family. We have an obligation to protect and defend the freedoms handed to us by our founding fathers and all of those generations that fought to protect our freedom and history and tradition. We owe it to all of those who came before us. Train hard and you will win. You're looking at a picture of an American soldier or a member of the militia movement. Somewhere, someone out there is training hard. If you are not, and by chance the two of you meet, you will lose. Train hard and you will win. Be prepared. Be prepared for the future because dark clouds are coming over the horizon. A possible future. A possible future. They said the economy was good. They said we were safe from terrorists. They said that they had Ebola under control. Then came martial law. Then came the quarantine. Then came the camp, camp round, roundup. 3% of us decided not to go. And this is all that was left of America. The future is bleak if you do not prepare for it. It will come like an angel of death and destruction and destroy you. Death to the new world order. Death to the new world order. As you can see in this picture, the malicious organizations are prepared for the coming new world order. And make no mistake, it's coming for you and for your family. These individuals have stockpiled food, ammunition, and they know how to protect themselves and each other. They're prepared for the totalitarian government that is coming. What about you? What are you going to do to protect yourself and your family and loved ones? The legacy of the militia movement. The legacy of the militia movement. The militia movement, the incident at Ruby Ridge and Waco fueled a hatred of the government by right-wing patriots and the widening of the militia movement. The militia movement has grown incredibly a lot since Obama came into office. Because Obama has shown his true colors, he's against the Constitution, Bill of Rights, and Declaration of Independence. He wants to create a government of the government and for the political economic elites. Defenders of freedom. Defenders of freedom. In memory of all those who died defending our freedom, not only did American soldiers fight to preserve our democracy and our republican form of government, our Constitution, Bill of Rights, and Declaration of Independence, and our heritage as American people. But so did many American civilians who came before us, who played by the rule of law. We owe it to ourselves not to take our freedom for granted or trust the government to protect us. Wake up, America. Wake up, America. Yes, wake up, America. You are the militia. The people's militia. We the people are the militia. The militia is America's last line of defense. Encourage yourself to learn how to use weapons in self-defense. Buy guns. Buy ammunition. Stockpile food. You need to prepare for any eventualities. You cannot trust the government to defend you. They will not. Symbols of the militias. Symbols of the militia. American Armed Resistance Movement. The American Resistance Movement start, st uh, started from the spirit of 1776. You will find in all 50 states the Armed Resistance Movement. The Armed Resistance Movement is a patriotic American movement that knows its birthright. Unlike most Americans today who cannot pass the citizenship to become Americans. There's been a dumbing down of America through its educational system. Most Americans really do not know their birthright. They don't, they don't read the Constitution. It's not really taught in schools. Defenders defend our country before we have no country. Join your local state militia and make that stand. Train hard. 
be sure that you are strong and healthy in your physique. Own guns. Train with guns so that you know how to defend yourself against terrorists and against anybody who breaks into your house. Do not be afraid to stand up for your birthright as Americans. Please support my channel by subscribing to Tricky Mickey. Thank you. I thoroughly enjoy bringing you all of these videos, hoping that you think for yourself. I give you the facts, evidence, details, and proof so that you can draw your own intellectual conclusion scientifically. Conclusions are drawn by evidence that shows through circumstantial evidence, indirect evidence, and as well as direct evidence what are all this information demonstrating to you. Thank you for listening and watching with me. This is Tricky Mickey saying, until next time, please take care of yourself. Thank you. Please subscribe. Spread the word. Tricky Mickey is here. And until next time, take care of yourself and bye.